Hi loves! Welcome back to my channel. So today is the day that I will be showing you guys Baby Liam's nursery. So I'm really really excited. I have been wanting to show you guys this room for forever. I know I've shown like sneak peeks here and there but oh my gosh just seeing it all together it just melts my heart I love this room so much I love how everything turned out Tom and I really came together and like you know made this room the way we envisioned it and that to me like working with my husband in this room and like picking out the items and actually loving everything we picked out together means so much to me so I just, I love this room, you guys, so, so, so much. I think everything is just so kind of like Pinterest worthy. <laughs> so anyways, I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I really hope that you all like how the room is. And if you're a mom-to-be or want to redecorate your son's room or something, then I hope that it gives you some inspiration. Like usual, I will have a whole blog post about baby Liam's room so that will be linked in the description box down below and in that blog post that I will also link every single thing that's in this room majority of the items we purchased online so I will definitely link everything um, there are some stuff that I've gotten in stores but I'm pretty sure I can find them online even the stuff from Hobby Lobby I saw it on their website so anybody can get them which is awesome so definitely check out the blog post down below and without further ado let's just get into the tour I hope you guys like it um, by the way this room used to be the guest bedroom so last summer I actually did a guest bedroom tour and now this summer I can't believe we are doing a nursery tour it's it's so crazy but yeah it is a small room but I think it's the perfect size for our little boy so I'm just so excited so anyways yeah I'm gonna stop blobbing now and let's just get into the tour all right loves welcome to baby Liam's room this is what you see when you first look into his room I'll go ahead and go in a little bit so I can show you a little overview of everything So I will go ahead and start off on this side of the room. As you can see, we have a super cute Welcome to My Crib sign. And then um, I Love You to the Moon and Back wall art. And another wall art that when I saw this at Hobby Lobby, I had to get it. It just says, how is it possible that out of all the little boys in the world, we got the best one? It just melted my heart when I saw it and I told Tom, I'm like... It's not on sale right now, but once it is, I will buy it. And that's exactly what I did. I waited for it to be half off, and now we have it here. Um, anyways, I also got these really cute and fun cloud shelves from Hobby Lobby. Um, I got those for super cheap too, you guys. Definitely check Hobby Lobby out. Um, like I said earlier, everything will be linked in the blog post, but shop Hobby Lobby in stores because they always have everything half off. I'm telling you I got a lot of my decor pieces for under $10. Like the shelves were half off so it was like I think five bucks or something crazy like that. Definitely got some good deals on it. And of course the on the cloud shelves we just have books that we've gotten from you know, friends and family during our baby shower. I did purchase a few, which I showed you guys in my baby haul. So yeah, I'm just excited. I can't wait to actually buy more books. And then I found this cool little bookcase type of shelving from Hobby Lobby. I just thought it went really well with what we're trying to go for, which is that rusticy travel adventure theme. 
and I just love the wood and the rope detailing on this. So up above we just have a globe and then down below we have this really cool and fun hot air balloon coin bang and then I found this cute little sign that just says I love you more than all the stars I believe I got that Marshalls and then the rope ball I got from Hobby Lobby and then on the bottom shelf we just have a picture frame that is not our son he's not here yet so definitely changed the photo in there but that's a cute little boy though and then there's also this cool little airplane that my husband just loves so yeah we got that from Hobby Lobby I believe so that is just what that bookshelf looks like I think it turned out really cool I love that rope detailing so much and then down below we have our recliner. This is the recliner that my husband actually picked out. I believe we got it on Amazon. It is from the brand Baby Relax. It is extremely comfortable, you guys. I love this recliner. So it rocks, obviously, and also reclines. And then I just have this really nice, like, fluffy throw on it that I got from... Home goods, I think. It just has like cute little fluff balls and then a cute little teddy bear that like, says, My first bear. I think it's so cute. So that's just that. And right over here, we have a box from Target. It's actually a nice kind of like metal. That's from Target. In there, we just store some toys that he's not going to need until he's bigger. Um, and also, we have a trash can right there. Oh, and then this cute little night light it's like a cute little cloud right here we have a little table i got this from joss and maine a few years back it used to be in our old bedroom but i thought it would go really well in here because it's nice to have something to put like maybe put your phone on or maybe if you have a drink or something like that i don't know i just thought it'd be handy to have in the nursery and here we have the hatch it's like a night light and also soothing noise maker and you just tap it and it changes colors also changes sounds I love that that rain sound actually my favorite is this one this is my favorite I think this is like the forest sound I'm not sure but this is my favorite sound and yeah, and we have a cute little airplane here, and a little book, and this cute little giraffe, just for decor. <laughs> now going on to this side of the room, I don't think I talked about the curtains yet, but the curtains were found at Home Goods, and they are blackout gray curtains with white kind of like tool on front of it. And it just kind of softens up the gray because the gray was I thought was a little too harsh. So I'm glad that I was able to find something like this because it just really softens up the room and it's not too kind of like blackout, you know what I mean? So this is what that looks like. Alright, and then we have this mobile which I thought was so perfect. This is actually what kind of made us go into this type of theme. Um, I just think it's so perfect. I love all the grays in it and the, the little roping. It just goes with everything, right? So I thought it was perfect. Um, we purchased this from Pottery Barn Kids and it is all made out of Capus shell and it's made in the Philippines, you guys. So that made me really love it even more. So for the lighting in Liam's room, we picked out this semi-flush mount. Um, I got this from Jaws and Maine. It's all wooden beads and I just added some twine right on the top just so it kind of goes with everything. And it's not super just, you know, white. So yeah, we really like how that turned out. So down below here we have this really cool ottoman. This is like the first thing I think I ever bought for baby Liam. And it's just like an elephant ottoman for kids. 
I got this from Home Goods. It was like twenty dollars or something crazy like that. It was on sale or clearance actually, and I just loved it. So. I bought it <laughs> and this is where he's at right now and then on top of him I have a basket just full of stuffed animals a lot of these I got from like three of them are from Target this one's from Gilt and then these I got Marshalls super cute I just have all his like cute little friends there <laughs> okay and then we have the crib Oh my goodness, when I saw this crib, I was like, Tom, this is perfect. And I was so excited that he also loved it just as much as I did. It just went with the theme that we're going for. And it's just like that perfect rustic look. And it's such great quality. And it's also one of those beds that converts. So it can turn into a toddler bed and, alt and also into a twin size, I believe. So... We will be, you know, keeping that for a while. <laughs> and it's just such great quality. I believe it's from Baby Relax. We purchased it on Amazon and we just, we're in love with it. Now, we're not going to be using the crib until maybe he's a few months old. Um, but I already have bedding for it. The bedding is from Carousel Designs. I will link it for you guys down below. I absolutely love that website. I always see it on Facebook and Instagram and I'm so excited that they gifted us this beautiful crib sheet set. I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom you guys in because you have to see the detail of this. Alright, so I love the fact that I was able to customize everything. So the crib sheet set came with a comforter, also a bumper, a fitted sheet, and also a crib skirt. And, oh my gosh, everything looks so beautiful together. So this is what the front of the crib looks like. You can see the detailing of the bumper. Again, you can choose whatever fabric you want, customize it to your own liking, whatever color and print. You can see the fitted sheet detailing right there and also the crib skirt. The crib skirt is actually two-toned. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it is... A kind of like a minty light blue color and then it has a stripe of gray right in the bottom look at the detail here's the comforter even the comforter you can choose whatever piping you want and like all the fabric it's so beautiful you guys and so well made so this is what the inside of the crib looks like so here's a close-up of the bumper and then a close-up of the fitted sheets which I love. I'm not sure what it exactly says but I just really like the cute little font on it. I have this fun little pillow that I found at Hobby Lobby <laughs> and then here's the comforter again. I just love it you guys. So definitely check out Carousel Designs. So right above the crib, we have this map, which is kind of like a tapestry. We found this at Hobby Lobby. It is huge. And do not worry, it is well secured. It's not going to fall off or anything like that. It's actually very, very light also. So we're not worried about it at all. And then to the side of the crib, you can see the hamper, which my husband picked out. We found that at Home Goods, and he was so excited when he saw it. He was like, oh my gosh, it's adventure theme. It goes perfectly in our nursery. <laughs> okay, so now going on to this side of the room, we have our changing table. And to be honest, I didn't think we'd be able to even have a changing table in this room just because this room is so small but we did find this one that is just perfect for this wall and I believe we got it on Amazon and this is what it looks like so I'll show you guys what's above it first so I found this wall art at Hobby Lobby and I thought it was so cute I just love the sayings on it I think it's so cute and fun and the color scheme is perfect for this room so I purchased it. <laughs> okay, and then we have the changing table, which is this. 
I love the overall look of it and you can actually take the top off I believe so later on you know you can still keep using it when he doesn't need a changing thing on the top um, but yeah so we just have the changing pad on top and I just have a cover on it with cute little stars and moons that I got uh, on Amazon I think and I also have a waterproof liner on top of it and then this cute little toy and then down below there's like these little cubes and in there we have baskets so this first basket is just full of diapers and then here we have the wipes wipe warmer <laughs> which is not plugged in yet but behind that we also have another basket filled with wipes or wet wipes and then we have this other basket as well which is eventually going to be full of his other things for um, you know diaper changing right now I just have some lotion in there um, and extra diapers it doesn't fit in the other basket and then in the drawers here I do have this little organizer got it from Menards here we have mittens socks some hats um, some bibs and then in this bottom drawer we also have a little organizer again I have the washcloths in there and then we have some swaddle blankets some birth cloths and then here are some more swaddles that is that has like the velcro so it's like super easy to use and then just some extra blankets off to the side here we have the ubi diaper pail of course it's near the diaper changing area that's pretty self-explanatory i don't know where else to put that okay so this is his closet which is so organized. I love it and I'm jealous. So on the very top, I actually just have some stuff, animals that I don't know where to put because they were already here. Um, I, I love them and I don't want to get rid of them. So yeah, now it's it's Liam's. Um, but yeah, there's Appa and Olaf up there. <laughs> um, and then these are all his clothes. Um, I have it organized from newborn going into, I think, six months. I don't know but um, it's just really really organized and I even bought um, those cool little like they're like hanger organizers um, it tells you what month each clothes are or each section is so it's really nice and handy and then as you can see here we have this shelving unit in the bottom section just to kind of help us be more organized and give us a little bit more storage and we actually purchased that um, at Target and it's one of those um, nine cube shelves it was very inexpensive um, but anyways on top I just have some of his shoes which he only has two pairs or three pairs actually there's like moccasins in the back there and then since you can only see two columns here um i only put cubes on those two and this is just gonna be all his clothes you guys um so in the cubes i have some of his pants this one's actually empty and then this two right here are clothes that are too big for him for now um they're like six to nine months and then i have a few from for like 12 to 18 months or something crazy like that um, that we got from the baby shower and then down below here we have extra bibs and swaddles and blankets and towels so just some extra stuff that I kind of want to put away you know so that's what's on this side of the closet so this is what this side looks like so we just have more clothes here on top up there just some extra stuff extra blanket some storage stuff extra hangers we got a ton of blankets here um, we have some baby body wash and whatnot extra crib sheets um, extra diapers just everything not sure we're gonna need them right away so I guess put them all here for now I just quickly wanted to show you guys how I hang these type of onesies. I hang them upside down like this on a hanger. So you can hang up to three. Sometimes I think I even have 
one with four on it, depending on the hanger. And I just thought I'd share it with you guys because I saw this on Facebook and I thought it was genius because at first I was hanging one onesie per hanger, which is insane. That's a lot of hangers. Um, so yeah, I thought this is like a good hack. So definitely try it out, you guys. So that is it, you guys. That is the entire room. I know this room is really small. But, you know, it has a lot of stuff. Like, I didn't think half of the stuff that we needed would fit. Because they're, like, furniture. Like, you know what I mean? Like, before there was just a little bed in here and, like, a desk and a chair. And I thought that was, like, wow, that's a lot. But now we have, like, all of these things and it's just... It's insane how much you can fit in this room. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Also, subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you here again. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye!